Right, let's talk about the best defensive tackles in the business. It's a new, it's a new feature, Ron. So you yes. got to make this sing. You got to back up the producers on this one. I, I, right? I think I'm gonna try the to do it. The top five defensive tackles, the best in the business at that position. Who are they? You know, a lot of hard work, a lot of thought went into this whole process. And you know, my number five is Tommy Harris. Tommy Harris is a peer, premier pass rusher for the Chicago Bears. When he's going at his top of his game. This is a nice defense. Everybody talk about Erlacher, you know, but when you look at the defense, when he's getting after the quarterback, he's their number one pass rusher from that side. He can get after him. You know, I like him inside. Quickness, speed, it's hard to find somebody that has the speed and the quickness to go together. Number four, Darnell Dockett. Outstanding year the whole year long. He played at a Pro Bowl level all year, and then at the end of the season, mm. in Super Bowl 43, what did he do? Show Three up. sacks versus the Pittsburgh Steelers in. Yeah, he's holding out right now. He wants more money. This guy can get it done inside. One of the fastest first steps off the ball and with the power and the leverage, he can get after a quarterback. Number three, Sean Rogers. And it's never been is he talented enough? It's always been, does he desire to be good enough? And I think last year he answered a lot of questions for a lot of players or a lot of critics with the Cleveland Browns that he can get after. This guy is big. He's physical. I mean, he demands a two, a double team every single time he's on the football field. Now, can he add to it? Can he answer all those questions this year one more time? Then you go to number two, Albert Hainsworth. They already got all that money. Number two. Number two. Now I'm going to give you a reason after a second. This guy has played seven years, but he's only played, he's only played a full season one time. He got the money. Everybody's asking if he's going to play again. But he demands a double team every single time. When he plays football, he is the best in the business. He's the highest paid. But though, does not make you the best. I'm going to give the best right here. Kevin Williams, that big guy that wears the purple. He's consistent. He's been there every single year. He's only missed two, in, in his seven years starting. He's only missed two games. So this guy can get it done inside and out. 14 and a half sacks the last two years. This guy, or eight and a half last year. Jared Allen, Ray Edwards on the outside. This guy can have double-digit sacks this year. That's my top five. I like Kevin Williams because he's been there, he's consistent, and he does it on a daily and yearly basis. That's a good list. I, I, I give you that. But, but Chris Jenkins. He's done From it. Chris Jenkins. Then, now let me, the big fella. Now let me answer. Okay. Chris, when he was with Carolina, right. he never lived up to his expectations. This year, he went to the Jets this past year. He played outstanding football, but you got to do it more than once. you got to give me more than one full blown out year what he had this past year to put him in the top five. These other guys have done it year in and year out. Chris Jenkins does it again. He will jump into the top five. And then who goes out? That will be seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's for another segment of Best in the Business.